Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Grimwit, this is Clickhole. With me today and helping me read will be Chuck. Say hello, Chuck. Hi. How do you want to do this? Do you want to trade off paragraphs? Because uh, we're both going to be reading this one. But you will be choosing the outcome because I've already gone through this. Okay. You don't think that's going to get confusing? Nah, it'll be fine. Plus, remember, uh, people on YouTube will have something to actually see in front of them, so. Okay. All right, well, I'll, I'll start. <clears throat> okay. The year is 3500 BC, a time when, any, when everyone's landmark was a rock. Landlord. Animals were some... Landlord. Oh, man. <laughs> I am take it already slow. knocking it out of the park. Take it slow. <laughs> okay, I will take it slower. The year is 3500 BC, a time when everyone's landlord was a rock, animals were synonymous with clothing, and public nudity was largely acceptable if you didn't want to wear clothing. But that's about to change. Everything is about to change. Major, Major changes. changes in human culture are on the horizon. Uh, I would From thought... the invention of... I was I was thought we were trading back and forth. Let's huh? do Oh yeah, we are. We are. Yeah, Go, let's, ahead. Go ahead. Let's do one one page and then another. You do a page, I do a page and back and forth. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Major changes in human culture are on the horizon. From the invention of writing to the very first sailboats to the earliest recorded sleepover prank. Each bit of ingenuity from this era will serve as a bedrock of mankind's advancements through the rest of history. Society-shaping discoveries are being made left and right, like the wheel. Hey, hey, don't you look at my wheel. Don't you look at it, shouts Richard Wheel. He's the guy who invented the wheel. He's not very humble about it. Oh, just look at this brilliant little invention of mine. Soon people everywhere will be using the wheel to roll off hillsides and crush rabbits so they can make shoes out of them. Best thing to happen to mankind since Baldo Fire became the first human to harness fire, no doubt. <laughs> wow, that's really cool, Richard Wheel. But I'm kind of busy with an idea of my own that's going to change the world. Shall I go on? Go ahead. That's precious, you having a little idea of your own. But it's not the wheel because I made that. I'm going to ride a horse. <laughs> Wait, as in the animal? What do you mean, ride a horse? Yes, I'm yes. going to get a horse, and okay. I'm going to get this horse to let me sit on it and take me wherever I want to go. Okay, I thought we were doing this page by page. I have no not? idea what we're doing anymore. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we need to figure this out. <laughs> Before we continue. Okay, okay. Page by page, except you're the person who reads off the actual quotes on the bottom. Because you're the one making the decisions. How's that? Sounds good. That way, you'll also be letting me know what to click on next. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I got stuck Go. with the big one. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> wow. Definitely don't do that. What a dumb and reckless idea. Wild horses are dangerous, and they hate humans. Anytime you get near one that you're not about to spear in the jugular, they hoof you to death or drag you to the beach and eat all of your clothes. This is the way it has been between people and horses since the dawn of time. No way they just up and let you put your crotch on their back. That's why us 3500 BC folks stick to eating horses. Or making pants out of them, not sitting on them. Seems like you've already forgotten the time you tried sitting on a crow so you could fly everywhere. You only made it 30 miles before it dropped you from 100 feet in the air. Wheels are the future, not sitting on horses. What would riding a horse do for anyone besides get you trog delight horse murdered? This is going to be rough for me. Yeah, this is going to be pretty rough either way. So, which which uh, thing are we saying to Richard Wheel, <clears throat> which in fact is a jerk? Hmm. 
are you going to be are you going to be the most polite horse rider? <laughs> I have my reputation to uphold. When you sit on a horse that is standing still, it is a chair. <laughs> That's huh. Well, good luck with that. Even though you'll probably die, I'm going to roll this off a mountain towards a fawn and make a vest out of it. Later. You're, you're lying. That's not my line. It's not text. Ah, fine. Vi viciously mock Richard Wheel behind his back as he leaves. At first, you want to pioneer horse riding because of all the benefits that horse subservience to humans would offer. But you're additionally motivated to ride a horse just to spite Richard Wheel and his circle. The monumental human achievement is totally up for grabs. If you want it, the glory of being the first person to ride a horse is yours. <clears throat> Resolve to be the first human to ride a horse. To ride a horse, yes. Excellent. Now that you've made it your mission to ride a horse, it's time to go find one and make being on a horse the future of going. You doodle a blueprint of your plan on the soles of your crags. Uh, feel cragged. It's cragged. Oh, it's cragged. Oh, I got it's... got it got it. The soles of your cragged filthy 30, 3500 BC feet. Just so you get credit of the idea of riding a horse just uh, even if you die trying. Which is actually pretty good. Look for horses. Nope. No horses here. Continue looking for horses. No, none, here none here either. either. <laughs> Continue looking for horses. Hold up. That's a horse family bath mountain where wild horse, horses and family baths are. Huh. Do you want to check horse family bath mountain for horses or look elsewhere? Check horse family bath mountain for horses. Check the mud for horse clues instead. I've changed my mind. I want to develop the first sewage system. It's up to you, man. I will. Check in for horses. Which, wait, for clues? The first one. The first one. Oh, we're going to Horse Family Bath Mountain. All right. You arrive at the mountaintop. No horses. Continue looking for horses on Horse Family Bath Mountain. Still no horses. Continue looking for horses at Horse Family Bath Mountain. Dang. Not a horse in sight up here. Why is there a family bath? Continue. A huntress pushes through the bathing families and approaches you. If you've come up here looking for horses, know that I've turned them all into pants already. I ate one, too. Ah, oh, darn. I was going to try and be the first person to ride one of those. You want to ride a horse? Why would anybody need to do that? To spite Richard Wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. That guy sucks. <laughs> My cousin, Frank Wine, the guy who invented beer a couple centuries back, once tried jumping on a horse to get it to drink beer. It ended up killing him, which is why he's now called Frank Horse Victor. <laughs> but as he bled to death from all the horse bites, he moaned, a horse with a smile that's nice and wide is the very best horse that a human could ride. Whatever that means. Hope it helps. Good luck. Thank the Huntress and leave Horse Family Bath Mountain and look for horses elsewhere. Uh, elsewhere. Like the mud. Ah, finally. A horse clearly licking a rainbow in the mud here. You're getting close. You think you can... Wait, what? Clearly tried licking a rainbow in the mud. Okay, I did read that right. You think yeah. you can even smell them. Isn't that a horseshoe? Yeah, it, that's what I was about to say. That's, that's Well, a that's clearly friend. a rainbow. No, of course. Of, of course. A horse is a horse. Let's follow, follow the... the equine aroma. You got it. You found horses. Okay, now what? Hmm. Practice riding something else first. Straight up jump on a horse and hold on. Become the herd's alpha so they obey you. Or pitch them the idea of having them carry you everywhere and doing your manual labor until they die. Hmm. That, that last one has legs. Uh, 
Hmm. What's the most polite to... thing? No, no, no. What's the most caveman thing? Is what I'm trying to think of. And I think that's going to be to straight up jump on a horse and hold on, but that will probably kill us. Yeehaw! But as you sprint toward the herd to jump on one, they all disperse, except for this horse. It appears to be the herd's alpha. You can tell that this horse is the dominant leader of the herd because it has an incredibly small... Wh uh. <laughs> what? Why? Ah. <laughs> uh. You can tell that the horse is the dominant leader of the herd because it has an incredibly small human penis that every other horse in the herd keeps bowing to whenever they trot by. Point of order, that was not a curse word. I know, that's why I said it. Get on that horse. Before you can jump on the horse, it trots backwards towards you, peering over its shoulder. It stops five seconds to ca casually urinate as if you can't tell it's about to kick you in the face, then violently throws its legs back to womp you in the chomper hard. <laughs> quickly! quickly <laughs> you go, yeah. you do it. <laughs> quickly wrap your arms around its leg and never let go. Ah, oh, I thought this might happen. Oh no! This spiteful, spiteful horse ran all the way to the desert, bit you in the face until you let go of its leg, sucked the moisture out of you through your mouth to hydrate itself, What? ate the deer skin tunic off your body, and left you naked to die of thirst as it sprinted back to the herd. To rub salt in the wound, an hour later, when you thought it was long gone, the horse returned, carrying 15 <laughs> rattlesnakes inside of its mouth and threw them on you. <laughs> At first, the rattlesnakes didn't seem to want to hurt you, but then each of them threw up a rat, and all the rats ate through your skin and made a nest in your stomach. <laughs> Good lord! You died an agonizing four days later after the horse returned again to sit on your head. You failed at being the first person to ride a horse. Try again. I've never seen this ending. This ending is badass. I, I guess we'll return to a checkpoint. Yep. You found horses. Okay, now what? Well, we know what straight up jump on a horse and hold on leads to a pretty, pretty terrible ending. Fair enough. So what's the um, least caveman thing to do? That would be to practice writing something else first. Want to do it? Let's do it. Probably a good idea to work your way up to these horses from something less dangerous. What do you want to practice riding on? A plant? A seahorse? A woolly mammoth? I am ready to go back and ride a horse. Mm. Uh... We really ought to work our way up. Let's go with plant. You got it. You found some plants to practice riding on. Sit on the plant and ride them. Oh no! You killed the plants when you tried riding them. This does not bode well for riding a horse. Whoops. <laughs> what the fuck? My plant! What the fuck are you doing? Practicing for horses. Here, I'll read this for you. Fuck, I was gonna pioneer agriculture with those plants! Inform him that someone developed agriculture thousands of years prior to 3500 BC. That's... That is devastating to hear! <laughs> Can't help yeah, but sorry, notice that, that this caveman has a very fetching toque. <laughs> yes. Give this guy some space and go back to writing practice on something else. Uh, and we're uh, back. Okay. Uh, well, the plant didn't turn out well. Woolly mammoth? <laughs> Woolly mammoth. Keep in mind, some of these things may kill us. <laughs> well, ah, yes, the woolly mammoth. The animal that everyone in 3500 BC gets their milk and wigs from. <laughs> time ride to ride it. Time to ride it. Before you can climb up its 12-foot frame and straddle it, the woolly mammoth turns to address you telepathically, which is something that no one has ever proven wasn't true about them. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Us woolies have, like, two millennia before we're extinct forever. Total dunna dunzos. Be cool. Let us enjoy the time we have left undisturbed. Hmm. I want to ride it. Ignore okay, so the woolly mammoth and ride it. You got it. 
Please don't do this, says the woolly mammoth as you throw your legs over its back. Ride the woolly mammoth anyway. <laughs> Good thing you ignored the woolly mammoth, please, for it to leave it alone, because you ended up domesticating woolly mammoths and saved them from extinction. In the future, wealthy children get woolly mammoths for their birthday. Christopher Reeves becomes paralyzed after falling off a woolly mammoth. And they also... And they're also the animals that get ridden during the Preakness stakes. Cool. Unfortunately, this means that horses were totally eradicated from the planet instead of being that they had to be killed. Oh, because they had to be killed to feed woolly mammoths. And you never became the first person to ride a horse. Try again. I guess we're you going know, back to the checkpoint. I, I don't consider this a loss. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a give-take thing. On the one hand, cool. On the other hand, we did set out to ride a horse, not a woolly mammoth. Mm, I'm counting it in the W. All right. That's, that's pretty good. But we must continue about our quest. You found horses. Okay, now what? Well, I picked last time. You picked this time. Yeah, we've tried practicing riding something else first. No, yeah, let's do that, because I want to ride the seahorse. You got it. Practice riding something else first. To the seahorses! Smart thinking. This is a great starting point for eventually riding a real horse. Ride the seahorse. <laughs> Oof, you ended up oh. splattering the seahorse. Maybe try one that's better fit for your size. Try riding a slightly bigger seahorse. This one should do. Ride it. Oh, <laughs> darn. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, okay, maybe another size up. <laughs> Try out an even bigger seahorse. You got this. Ride it. <laughs> Ouch. Not quite. Listen, no one said this journey was going to be easy, so don't get discouraged. Let's give it <laughs> one more go, yeah? Try riding a seahorse one more time. All right, get a load of this big guy. This is the one. Now go easy. No need to rush. Ride it. Yikes. Oh. Okay, we're done practicing oh. on seahorses for now. Let's go practice riding something else. Okay, and so we're back. We've done them all. I think it's yeah. time to go back and try to ride the horse. I agree. So, um... You found horses. Okay, now what? Well... We've done the first two, so... Yeah. Let's become the alpha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall I? Go You've for it. decided to become the herd's alpha, so they have no choice but to accept the, your crotch on their back and go wherever you command them to. How do you want to go about earn, earning their unwavering respect of the herd? Okay, be the first human to pioneer representative democracy and get them to vote you into power? Or prove your dominance. Well, yeah, the first one it. is the that's most the polite. Caveman. <laughs> We're cavemen. We prove our dominance. Oh, okay, I've never seen this side of you, Chuck. Prove your dominance. You single out the alpha horse and approach it. You can tell that this horse is the dominant leader of the horde of the herd because it has an incredibly small human penis that every other horse in the herd keeps bowing to when they trot by him. The alpha horse looks you dead in the eye, unblinking and repeatedly stamping its foot in the dirt. The whole herd's watching now. Time to prove your dominance and usurp this fella from power. Okay. Stamp your foot and yell, or take over via brute force and bite its eyes out. Good lord. Guess cavemen well, were brutal. Yes, cavemen are brutal. Bite its eyes out. <laughs> Good. The, the moment, moment you, you sink, sink your, your teeth, teeth into the uh, horse's eyes. Ah, I wanted to read that. <laughs> The moment you see, you want to read it, you read it. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The moment you sink your teeth into the horse's eyes and spit them on the ground, it begins weeping, and the rest of the herd rushes to its aid. Yes, a horde with no eyes can still weep. Fuck, man, that was so unnecessary. Not only did you lose the herd's <laughs> respect due to your total unprovoked aggression, but they kept the now blind alpha horse in power to cheer him up. An overwhelming <laughs> sense of guilt consumes you as you see the herds travel to a different pasture. This one now scared, 
This one scarred. is now scarred with violence you wrought on them. A baby horse spits in the ground near you out of disgust. <laughs> Word of the fucked up upness spreads across 3500 BC horse society, and now none of them will let you even get close to a herd. You failed to be the first human to ride a horse. Try again. <laughs> okay, so apparently I was too hardcore. Uh, yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit much. <laughs> All right. You found horses. Okay, now what? Oh, well, shall we stomp our feet and try again? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Herds Alpha. Okay. And, uh, prove dominance? Prove your dominance. Okay. So stamp. Stamp your foot and yell. Show them you ain't intimidated by it. All right, hit Alpha it. rears back, takes a few swipes at you, and then has sex with every female in the herd to assert its place in this herd's pecking order. You've clearly failed to threaten it. Time to do something more drastic. Oh, Light my God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay. yep, okay, just return to checkpoint. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really think there's the only one thing left. <laughs> yeah. Okay, pitch them the idea of having them carry you everywhere and doing your manual labor until they die. Before you finish the pitch, one horse whispers into its e into the ear of another horse, Beach humiliation. Whatever it means, it does not sound good. Repeat the Repeat. pitch in case they didn't hear. Suddenly, all the horses begin sprinting toward you. The thunderous approach of the herd is simultaneously magnificent and terrifying. Run or let them trample you. It would be a beautiful death. I wonder which would be the most polite answer. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's run. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. They're getting close. Now they're all whispering, Beach humiliation. In unison. <laughs> Keep running or do it. Trample me. Do it now. <laughs> Wait, is that what we're doing? Uh, no, no, no. We're, we're going to keep, keep running. running? All right. Good choice, by the way. You are trampled. <laughs> <laughs> Be trampled. Um, I won't, I won't let... You don't have to read this one. Sounds of the beach. Come to... Looks like some horses did a beach humiliation on you, huh? Says a 3500 BC baby. You look down. Uh-oh. <laughs> Turns out the horses dragged your unconscious body to the beach and ate your deerskin tunic to clean off your body. Fortunately, public nudity is acceptable in 3500 BC. Unfortunately, you are sunburned from head to toe and the horses have marked your ass as a warning to you that anyone who tries mounting them... Damn, riding a horse is not as simple as you thought it would be. Tried to ride a horse, didn't you? If you knew anything about 3500 BC, you'd know that horses are much too proud to let another animal put its crotch on their back just yet, says the 3500 BC baby. Anyway, welcome to 3500 BC Beach. Hmm, it's nice. We can throw sand in the baby's eyes and go try something else on the horses. We can explore the beach, or we can give up and pioneer the sewage system. What is the deal with the sewage system? I don't know, uh, Seinfeld. What's the deal with the sewage <laughs> system? <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I lost my comb. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, it's your choice. Yeah, it is my choice. Um, let's explore the beach. To exploration land. As you brush sand off your sunburned genitals to explore 3500 BC Beach, a person riding another person gallops past you at two miles per hour, nearly knocking you down. Become the first human to flip someone off. Suddenly, two more people riding, two more people riding people trot past you. And more, it's a whole herd of humans riding humans. One of the riders yanks her person's ears, sending them flying into the air and over your head. They land and, be and come to a halt when the rider pinches the person's extremely h hard on the eyes. Ask the baby how the hell these people learn to ride. 
Oh, yes. I figured you might ask. Come, my beach-humiliated friend. I will introduce you to the Charles People Rider. Charles People Rider. (laughs) Just as you and the baby turn to go find Charles People Rider, a man crawls up behind you and tries to straddle your back and ride you. Fuck him off. (laughs) Ah, we have a stubborn one. Looking... Looking to do some riding rather than being ridden, are you? I find that admirable. Hello, it's me, Charles People Rider, the first human to ride another human, like how horses would presumably be ridden. I am also a common ancestor of every single Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, says Charles People Rider. It has been a long dream of mine to ride horses, but alas, the idea of jumping on a wild one is profoundly dumb and reckless. I'm a firm believer in writing, in writing in general, though, hence my students who just rode by you. Sure, sure. I'll gladly pass all my knowledge about riding on to you so that you can become the first human to ride a horse, but in exchange for another uniquely human achievement that I can be credited as the pioneer of. You quickly come up with some other ideas that will change society forever so that horse riding can be yours. Wow, there's a lot of them. Wow, physics, civil law, complex hydrology, Chile Renelo, Renelo, Pythagorean theorem. Um, Idea for wearing a hat hat in the morning to style your hair instead of using products. (laughs) Piano, peanut butter. Putting olive oil in a little plate and mixing some red pepper flakes and dipping the bread in it as a snack? Oh, I hate that. I, I, People I prefer, should not just eat oil. It's just vinegar and oil. Why, why would you add pepper flakes? All right. Uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter? Uh, peanut, peanut butter. Which one is peanut butter? There it is. Second from the bottom. Brilliant. Thank you. That will now be my personal contribution to human progress. Okay, a deal's a deal, says First Rider. The best way to get something to let you ride it is through guilt and shame. Only through breaking its spirit with guilt and shame can you reduce a creature's self-respect so low that it pathetically accepts your crotch on its back whenever you demand it. Then, once it's accepted your crotch on its back, kicks its sides to make it go, pull its ears to make it jump, and pinch its eyes to make it come to a halt. Then you will have successfully ridden. Cool, got it. Before you leave the beach, you thank the 3500 BC baby for being nice to you by quickly thinking for the idea of the idea for heliocentrism and giving it to her. She eats a handful of sand out of gratitude and bids you good luck. Return to the horses. You've returned to the horses. Be more strategic this time. Pick one specific horse and break it with guilt and shame so you can ride it. Hmm. Uh. Let it come to you. It will be more special that way. You You decide to stand by and let one come to you. No immediate takers. Continue waiting for a horse to be interested in you. Nothing yet. The horses barely acknowledge your presence. Continue waiting for a horse to be interested in you. What? What? (laughs) Oh. Uh, be right back. Uh, okay. 